Hey, good morning. Guess what I am doing? I am testing out doing laundry off-grid. My washing machine is connected to my solar power equipment. and But this is a temporary kind of experiment to see how it runs. So essentially all I have is an extension cord going into the circuit here. But I want to show you something here. Thank goodness my washing machine is very close to my solar equipment. This is a uh, Kenmore washing machine that I got when I was stationed up in Idaho, Mountain Home Air Force Base. About, eh, about four years ago I got this. And it's supposed to be Energy Star compliant, but I don't know. But it's a Kenmore. A good unit. The dryer is uh, electric, which is also 240 volts, which my solar equipment can't run. But the washing machine doesn't have any heating elements in it, so it should do pretty good. So what I did is I hooked up the kilowatt meter to see how much power this thing is going to uh, use. Look at there. Check amps. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. So the whole purpose of this video is to show you that I can run my washing machine on my solar power equipment circuits. I don't have a circuit dedicated for this washing machine. It's on its own circuit breaker on the house mains, but I may rig up something to do this. Um, I already got a little hole right down here I used for a different project. I may just uh, run an extension cord through there, you know, just kind of wrap it around there and be good to go. Be easy, easy, easy to do. Um, let me show you my circuits that I have actually on solar power in this house. Everything in the garage here. Stereo. I've got a battery backups. APC Schneider up there running. The TV, stereo equipment, modem, router, all that. Okay. Let's walk over here and I'll show you what circuits I have dedicated to my house that's on solar. Pretty much the essential circuits to live. This is about a 1750 square foot house. Two bedrooms and one back small bathroom I don't have on solar power. But almost everything else is. When everything is in the up position it says gen right here, with the, that's actually solar. And at any time I want to go on grid, I just switch it back to line. So these transfer panels are an in-between type thing with your main panel here. See here? Washer. It's a 20 amp. The dryer's got, <laughs> look at there, it's a monster. Double, double pull, double throw, 30 amp. So I use a lot of juice, a lot of juice. That's why I hooked up two more clotheslines all back. But um, there you have it. It's working. It's going to work just fine. This Outback Power Inverter is a beast and a half. <laughs> it's rated for 3,500 watts, but it'll do a heck of a lot more than that. I forget what the spec sheet says, but it, it does pretty good. And look at here, this is my main um, solar charge controller. 
I'm only drawing 25, 26 amps in the house right now. That's too much power I'm pulling in. It's not really that great of a day, but I'm getting 630 watts or so, 24 amps going into the battery. Don't don't look at the battery charge indication here. I got this thing set wrong since I switched some things over. But the state of charge is a lot better than 19%. And that's on the Renogy array, and down here, of course, is on my uh, SunPower Maxion array, 1,300 watts there. But today is not that great of a day to be charging, kind of cloudy and overcast. Hooked up my battery meter again, just kind of velcroed it up there. And I adjusted this this morning so it'll read correctly. And I use my Fluke 117 True RMS digital voltmeter to get this as about as close as I could. I got the voltage set up on this Outback Power at about 122, 123 volts. Um, much easier to make voltage than current. So I run my stuff uh, a little bit higher voltage than 120, which is standard. So, okay. Just thought I'd show you my little experiment here. It looks like it's going to be just fine. And uh, thanks for watching. My uh, washing clothes on a solar power circuit. You can do it. You can do it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you. Bye.